Hello students, hope all of you are well. Shampa ma'am here. Today I am with the second part of uh, the third lesson of civics. Uh, why do we need parliament? The day before we were discussing about the role of the parliament, the different functions of the par parliament. Continuation with that, let us first discuss uh, what is the meaning of representative and how, why, how to represent. Okay, so represent the word represent means be entitled or appointed to act or speak for especially in an official capacity if the uh, the person the political leader who is being elected by the common people he will represent that particular constituency that particular area from where he is being elected and in the parliament when the sessions will be going on that he will discuss about all the problems and how to develop that particular area or constituency so that means he will be he will get the right to speak officially about his area so that is called constituency that particular area is called constituency a group of voters in a specified area who elect a representative to a legislative body that is constituency the whole country is divided into numerous constituencies each of these constituencies elects one person to the parliament so students we are discussing about the um, uh, for government formation process at the time of election each and every and the whole country is being divided into different particular small small areas and these areas will be called constituencies and the political leader who will be elected uh, by getting majority vote that particular person will go to the parliament and he will be the representative then of that particular constituency okay next let us discuss about the functions of the parliament there are this is the very important topic of this chapter because we are going to discuss why do we need parliament already we discussed and what is the main function of the parliament okay the main function of the parliament first to select the national government and the second to control and guide and inform the government and third one is law making so let us tell again the first function of the government is to select to select the national government after the whole election process will be completed then government formation process will be going on that is that will be done by the parliament and then to control and guide guide the government after the formation of government how to control and guide the government to rule the country properly that will be done and the third one is law making process parliament has the full authority to formation of law new laws if it is required even any um, existing law which is which will be conflicting and may be harmful that can be changed or can also be abolished by the parliament so these are the three functions of the parliament now selection of national government is the first function already discussed so that we are going to discuss in detail for that let us discuss parliament consists of which things first of all in the parliament consists of three people or group of people first one is definitely the head there is president definitely then lok sabha and rajya sabha okay so let us discuss about the lok sabha selection of national government for a political party to form a government they must have a majority of the elected mps the how many mps are being elected among them from which political party maximum number of mps will be there then that party will be called the majority party and that party will form the government and it will be another name it will be called the ruling party also and then suppose there are five political parties then the party which will get the majority number of mps that will be called the ruling party and what about the other four four political parties they will be called as opposition party they will end that session of parliament what will be their work they will be, they will be they will criticize the government the ruling party and by this way actually indirectly they are helping the ruling party or the government to run the country in a better way and among these opposition parties uh, which party will give, is having the more number of mps that will be called the major opposition party 
now the selection of prime minister how the prime minister is being being selected we are discussing about the first function of the parliament that is selection of national government first of all the election process is completed and then the all the members of um, uh, parliament mps are there and among these mps the ruling party which who is which political party will get, get the maximum number of mps that will form the uh, majority party or ruling party and that party will get chance to form the government and, and among these ruling parties the leader will be choose as the prime minister in the lok sabha okay and the city he then that prime minister if he will select other ministers to implement the decisions and these ministers um, take all these charges of different areas of government functioning like health education finance even industry all these things and they will be called health minister or education minister or finance minister or industrial minister like that so by this way prime minister first he will be selected the leader of the ruling party will be selected as the prime minister and then prime minister will select he other ministers to help him in different departments for example health education like this so by this way the whole government will be formed and that whole process is being done in the parliament so this is the first very important work or function of the parliament now the another another way to form the government is there as we are discussing about the formation of government that is coalition government okay so coalition government government means what when no single party is getting um, a majority vote that means suppose there are four, for example i am telling you there are 450 seats total and uh, any single party should get at least more one more than half of the seats that means 450 divided by 2 that means it will be 225 plus 1 so if any case no political party will get more than half of the seats then what will happen then two three political parties together they will join and they will be they will form the government and then in that case that particular type of government will be called as coalition government okay i think you got it let us read it from here when a single political party do not get the majority then join together with different political parties to form government this type of government then it will be called the coalition government okay now the last one is we discussed about lok sabha how the prime minister and his ministers are being selected and then rajya sabha what is rajya sabha rajya sabha that is the representative of the state the functions rajya sabha functions as the representative of the state under the central center the different states are there and rajya sabha is there in different states what is the main function of rajya sabha it has an important role to review and to alter the laws initiated by the lok sabha if it is required if they feel it is really required to uh, review the law if it is not good not uh, um, for the country not good for the particular state then rajya sabha has the power to uh, alter or to review the law then how the members of rajya sabha are being elected they are being elected by the members of legislative assemblies that means by by the mlas of various states in different states whoever the mlas are there they elect the members of rajya sabha now students i think um, it is clear to you the formation of national government the first function of the parliament so now there are assignments some questions i'm going we are going to discuss from this part, part what i discussed first one is what are the main functions of the parliament already already we discussed there are three main functions of the government the formation of national government after the election process and then um, the law making process is there that is one important work of the parliament and parliament has an important work to control and to guide the government when the government is being formed by the ruling party to control and to guide them to run the country properly that is also then how na national government is selected in india 
national this is the long question the whole process after election how the prime minister is being elected and then after prime minister how he is selecting uh, these different ministers all these things you have to um, explain in detail it, is, it will be a long question what do you know by coalition government that discussion is also done coalition government means when no single party is getting the majority of the seats then two three political parties to get mps together they join and they form the government in that case that particular type of government is called coalition government and the last question is how the members of rajya sabha are being elected the members of rajya sabha are being elected by the members of legislative assembly of various states that means they are being elected by the mnas of various states so thank you students revise this part and uh, tomorrow i will come with the last part of this chapter thank you